I'm filming inside my garage again, which can only mean one thing, it's summertime. On the YouTube channel, we I often post some of the things I'm doing during the summer, after the school year ends, and we stop getting quite as many math videos, and we get more fun summer things. So hopefully, we can have another fun summer together, posting cool things that I'm doing, and reviews about places that I go and things I experience. Today, the very first summer video, which is super exciting for me, is that I actually got a brand new toy. Let me show this to you. That's right, I got a kick wheel. I got a kick pottery wheel. Check this out, it's so cool. So this wheel is very similar to another pottery wheel, except for one thing, like when the electricity goes out, you can still throw pottery on this one. Also, just like the last summer and maybe summer before that, I don't know, we've had a long relationship going. Um, Coldest Water has also sponsored me again this summer to make a couple of fun videos. Again, it's getting warm outside, you want some cold water, that's the way to go. They're amazing and they keep sponsoring videos like this, so when they sponsored this video, they had no idea that they were actually going to be paying for this kick wheel. I've never actually thrown on a, a kick wheel before. I've seen them and I kind of have an idea of how they work. You kick the bottom to make this flywheel, basically this heavy stone uh, spin around and then you use that to throw on the wheel. But I've never done it before. So what we're, I'm going to do is actually throw for the very first time on this wheel. So let's go ahead and check it out. My first time ever throwing on a kick wheel. Here we go. I'm gonna start off with something small here. I, I'm just gonna make uh, just a regular mug. See how that works out. And <laughs> like I said, never done this before. I'm just gonna get some momentum here and then see how this goes. I don't know. Try and get a little more speed there. I just, just kicked my shoe off. It does have, it has the momentum to keep going, but it doesn't seem to be holding speed very well. I also don't, I mean, I'm working in my basements or my garage, so I don't really have all of my regular supplies. Kind of throwing water all over the place. Oh my goodness. Getting stuff all over myself. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> I'm reminded of back when I heard this once that throwing on a pottery wheel used to be uh, originated actually with someone having something similar to this and they would tie a rope or a string of some kind around the wheel and then they would actually throw it and that's what powered the wheel to spin and that's where the term throwing on a wheel kind of originated. We are I'm sure, I feel 100% certain that someone who's done this before is going to be like, this guy has no idea what he's doing and that's totally true. Yeah, and this is my first time ever doing anything on the wheel. I'm, I'm attempting to make just, I just grabbed a pound and a quarter, just the size of a small mug, you know. I'm going to try and throw a mug on the wheel. And in case you're wondering about this specific one, this is an Amico, um, which I actually didn't even know when I was going to my friend's house. I just knew he had a kick wheel because we had talked about pottery stuff a while ago and then I saw him the other day and asked him how his pottery was going and he said actually I'm downsizing <laughs> so 
kind of worked out. I swear, if the power ever goes out of my house and you find me throwing pottery, it isn't just because I love throwing pottery, it's probably also just because I can. <laughs> this is such a mess I'm making. Yeah, it's interesting because for me, one of the major differences, just right up front, is the speed of the wheel. Like I could be running down here and trying to like make it really spin around, but then I get kind of water all over myself. But but it keeps it's it's got a smooth turn to it. Like it's it's holding up and I'm putting, you know, resistance against it and it's it's still doing fine. So I I mean so far, it's just a little slower than using an electric one, but I sort of expected that. When I'm powering it, you know, the biggest advantage is that I'm probably going to be able to burn some more calories as I do this. I wonder what kind of... I'm, I'm starting with this really small cup mug thing here. And I'm wondering, like, what what size I could get up to. I mean, this thing's a beast. I'm trying to move it into the... I, I, I held it in the back of my minivan, and it took three people to get it in, and three people to get it back out again. Fortunately, a neighbor had, was just walking by right when I was unloading it, and he was like, hey, you need some help? So a shout out to my awesome neighbor <laughs> who came right when I needed the help. What do you think? I'm going to have to start using my other leg too, otherwise I'm going to be like that Homer Simpson episode where he just like exercised one arm and then won all those arm wrestling competitions. My one leg is going to be Massive, and the other one's going to be still scrawny. All right, so we've got ourselves the first thing I've ever thrown on a kick wheel right here. I'll give it um, two ridges. How about that? On an electric one, that would have been a lot quicker. There we go. That'll be a pretty decent mug. I'll put a handle on it, and I will put that on my store as the very first mug I threw on the kick wheel. That it took me 10 minutes to do it, but <laughs> I was just busy having fun with it. Bam! There it is! I guess for continuity's sake, I should maybe like be wearing the same shirt and probably put that bat on there. Oh well. Here's that mug. First one ever thrown. It's pretty cool. I hope that was fun for you. Uh, again, this summer I'm going to post some more videos of me using this kick wheel. Maybe when I get a little bit better with it, I'll practice off camera and throw some fun things on it. Maybe uh, have a, a small series of things that I learned that are different between a kick wheel and, and an electric wheel. One advantage to this is that this is actually an Amico, which means it should function pretty similar to my Brent. Because, um, you know, Amico and Brent, kind of same-ish company. All right, cool. That is everything. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.